Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out another micro motor here from Brother Hobby. It's a 1402 size, 8100 kV. Uh, but this actually will replace a lot of 1100 size motors, so like the 1104 to 1106 series. And it actually has the same hole pattern on the bottom here. It's the 9mm hole pattern. So uh, it's the, this motor is a lot bigger and it has more power. Uh, probably will uh, spin bigger props like a 3 inch prop. Probably is going to be more efficient, I imagine. And uh, so this is a good replacement for uh, like an 1106 motor. And again, you can see it uses the uh, T-style prop with the two screws and the one and a half millimeter prop shaft. And it looks like and it looks like the shaft on the inside is actually bigger as well. Can't quite see that, but I believe it might be two millimeters. Yeah, it looks like on this side it's two millimeters on here where the C-clip is. So uh, pretty nice looking motor. You know, I, I think all other hobby motors are a good quality build. You can see the magnet spacing is pretty consistent. And the, the motor turns very smooth. The bearings are, they seem to be in good condition, as they should be, as a brand new motor. But I like the fact that it's a kind of a wide and low profile, and it should be interesting and in how this will perform. And so, I mean, one more thing, it has really long motor wires here, 150 millimeters. I'm not sure why it's so long. Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna use anything more than three inches. This is what I'm actually planning on doing is replacing these motors on the Akatainu, which I haven't flown in a quite a while. Um, this uses the Spintech motors, the 1106 8000 KV. I've been flying it on 2S and a 3 inch prop. And mostly I, in 2S because if you go 3S, the motors get really, really hot on the 3 inch prop and the flight times are really short. So using this bigger motor tends to draw a lot of current and you have very short flight times. So uh, I thought this Brother Hobby motor might be a good replacement for something in this category if you're looking for uh, longer flight times and better efficiency and maybe even more power. I'm thinking that this motor might even have more power than this 1106 on the three inch setup here. So I'm mainly looking at this bigger motor for three inch prop. You could possibly do two and a half inch props on this 14 or two, but I think that the gains are a little bit less going to a smaller prop and probably using this motor on a two inch prop is probably not a good idea. So I'm looking mainly for a three inch replacement here. So what I'm gonna do here is get some weight measurements to a before and after. Now obviously a lot of this motor wire is gonna get cut off later. So let's see what, how much difference it is. It's coming in at seven and a half, 7.6 grams with all the motor wire. And then the weight of this the Akatina with everything on here, props and everything, is about 90 grams. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these Brother Hobby motors, I'm going to replace all of the 1106 motors on this, and then we'll do a, uh, after uh, after I replace it, I'll get a weight measurement and see what the difference is, and we'll get an idea if uh, the weight difference is that much. I'm thinking that these 14 or 2 motors are probably a similar weight to the 1106s, so it's probably going to be around the 90 gram, maybe a little bit more. I'm guessing a little bit more, but could be less. It might be about the same, so we'll see. Okay, so before I show you um, what the what this looks like with the new motors on, I want to show you a flight I did with the current 1106 motors and give you an idea of what the um, flight time is like. I'm, I'm going to use the same battery for both of these flights. It's a 650 Tattoo 2S LiPo, and... Uh, I'm not really going to be doing much this flight. It's going to be kind of boring. So I'm going to speed it up, but I just wanted to give you an idea what the flight time is going to be like, and then we can compare it to uh, the 1402 motor on the same battery, same props, everything, just different motors. Okay, you can see here I'm right at the end of the battery, I'm about 6.7, 6.6 volts, and uh, I'm feeling that the battery is going to probably just cut off here in a second, and actually now I'm at 6.5, and I'm not even at 3 minutes, almost 3 minutes here, and I think right uh, at about in about 10 seconds here, I believe um, the battery is just going to completely die off it, yeah, it's going to 6.3, 6.4, and you can see the um, quad start shaking, that's a 
that's I, I think that's because of the VBAD PID composition kicking in. And I go ahead and land. So realistically on this battery, I'm getting about three minutes. Okay, so here it is with the uh, the new motors installed. Uh, everything else is the same except for the motors. I just swapped out the 1106 8000 kV for these 1402 8100 kV. And let's see how much this weighs now. I'm guessing it's going to be a little bit more, but not, I'm not really 100% sure. Let's see. It's coming in at 85.97, so 86 grams. I think this is less. I believe it was 90 grams with the 1106 motors. I Surprised that it's actually as I thought it was actually be a little bit more. So this is this is actually pretty good. So um, I think these motors have more power and they're lighter, so it should be good overall. So let's go ahead and take this out for a fly and see how it does. Okay, so here's what the uh, motor sounds. They're pretty smooth. Okay, so here's another flight with the new motors on, the same battery, the 652S. And I just, um, kind of not really doing much, I throw in a few flips and rolls here, but just kind of cruising around just to get an idea of what the efficiency is like of this new motor. And it's clearly obvious uh, it's much better than the 1106 motor on this exact same setup. And I'm just going to keep flying around. It's kind of boring here, so um, I'll let you know as, as soon as I get towards the end of the flight uh, what my conclusion is. Okay, so I'm here at about five and a half minutes, and it's pretty clear that this battery is just going to be lasting forever. I'm still at 6.9, 6.8 volts. I, I don't feel like a uh, battery uh, voltage sag is coming on here, so I decided to just call it quits. I figure if it's going to be lasting um, six minutes versus the three minutes on the 1106, that's a good enough test for me to know that this motor is more efficient than the 1106. If this isn't that, if that isn't obvious to you, then I don't know what is. Okay, so I know everyone's interested in how this will perform on 3S. This is what actually what I was mostly interested in because I wasn't able to do 3S on the 1106 motors. And you can see here on this demo flight how it does on a 3S LiPo uh, with this motor. And I really like the performance of this. I don't really like the tune of this because I didn't really spend a whole lot of time tuning on this. So, um, yeah, uh, not going to be providing any PIDs because it's not really tuned that well. I uh, just wanted to show you guys that it does fly on 3S on the uh, 8100 kV. It doesn't seem like it would, but it's totally fine. And at the end of the flight, the motors came down cool. Uh, I had a pretty decent flight time too, so even on 3S, I don't think the amp draw is all that high. Um, yeah, so yeah, if you're looking for a replacement for a high kV 1106 motor, want to go from 2S to 3S, I think this is a good solution. I will put a link in the description to the motors if you guys are interested in checking them out. I think uh, this is you know, a very specific case. I, I don't think it's motors for everybody and for every particular case. And um, obviously you're going to have to sort of weigh your options as to what's best for you and what your current situation is on your micro and what kind of motor you want to get uh, replaced for your 1106. So this is one of those options. I'll have uh, other 1404 motors coming, I think, and also some 1304 motors. A bunch of, I have a bunch of other motors outside of the 1106 class that I'll be looking at in the coming uh, weeks, two months, so please be patient. I know everyone wants the video yesterday, um, but yeah, I'm working on them, and so just be patient, and some more videos will be coming out on new motors, so be, be sure to be uh, subscribed to my channel, stay tuned for those, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.